okay hello guys welcome to my channel and it's a fine rainy day here in india so yeah we are with the array problem it's an easy problem of interview bit and it, it was asked in flipkart so yeah perfect pick of array right as you can imagine or you can uh, whatever so given an integer array a so the statement says that you have been given an array a and you have to find such an element that is less than all its right element and is more than all its left element basically it's in a sorted uh, sorted place right so uh, we have to find such an element so in this you can see that 6 is our guy or uh, it's more than all the left element and more than all its right element and except 6 you can see that there is none there is none that is more than all its left element and less than all its right element yeah so yeah it's kind of you can you if you know insertion sort right you are right you you have to find the pivot and place it onto its sorted or place and it's like that but you don't have to find you have to don't have to insert or some insert sort or something like that but i'm just saying the similarities right so yeah enough so uh, the brute force first the brute force because the brute force is the most important because you from both brute force you have you can effectively implement something else using data structures but you have to first understand the brute force and you have to come up with the brute force of course first so you can you can see that brute force will be so to iterate over all elements that is fine and then c then iterate over all its left elements and iterate over all its right elements and see that if all the elements in the left are less than the current element and all the elements that are on the its right are more than strictly more than yeah don't they cannot be equal right so um, they are more than it's current uh, more than the current element right so if we found it we found uh, such an element then we will return one we have to return one and if we don't find it then we have to return zero so, right so this so this is my brute force approach i have and is the size of the array i am iterating from i equal to 1 because it's it is said that you don't have to consider a is 0 and a and minus 1 where is it yeah it it is there and again the other yeah so this is from i equal to 1 to i equal to n minus 2 and i have set a i equal to current and flag i have used one flag that will that will that will actually do the thing that uh, if this if the condition satisfies then it will remain one and if it doesn't that is uh, it's uh, if anyone from its left element left elements it becomes more or equal then it will be zero and if uh, the flag from the left side becomes zero then i don't have to see the right ones right because that's not logical you don't have to do that uh, yeah so because uh, yeah so uh, and then if flag is one if all the left elements are less than the current element then uh, i can see the right elements and if all the right elements are more than the current element then flag will remain one and i will turn it I will return the guy the, the the guy okay and if uh, i have iterated over all the elements 
from i equal to 1 to n minus 1 and I haven't found the guy the element then I should return 0 right so this problem this is a good solution but it's not quick enough I can see you can see from uh, this that it will not pass I guess because n is 10 to the power 5 and 10 to the power 5 and my solution is or of n square yeah because for each and every element I am seeing all the array right so yeah it's order of n square and generally you can detect uh, time complexity then can that can pass from n if n is 10 to the power 5 then logically 10 to the order of n or order of n log n will pass if n is around uh, I don't know 10,000 then n square will pass n square, n square log n will also pass and if n is around 10 to the power 2 that is 100 then 10 n cube n to the power 4 will pass right so uh, you can deduce so in this problem there's 10 there n is 10 to the power 5 so we have to look for n order of n solution or order of n log n but uh, there is a simple thing that uh, this order of n solution so yeah uh, so how the solution will look like so uh, you can see that we are just unnecessarily seeing all the elements we can use some variable that will that will that will be the max element uh, of all the left elements and we will uh, we will just compare the current element element with the that uh, with that element if that element is more than the current element then we can say that we have we uh, we are we the current element is not the guy right because there is some element in the left that is more than the current element we can do this with the right elements all of also bus but we have to use a array for that because we cannot uh, use a variable because uh, you as you can see that if I am going from like let's say 10 to 7 then my max will be 9 my max will not be 10 right yeah because I am removing it I am going from I the this 10 is becoming uh, left element from right element right so uh, yeah so this is uh, the way you have to s we can use a variable here and we can use a array here so let's let's spot it so the maximum maximum left element right so int uh, it's uh, n let's see the ai ai is 10 to the power 9 so i can use int it will not overflow so let's name it max and initial value is int min yeah and uh, i can actually do this as it right and for the right ones i have to use a vector suffix let's say suffix max or suffix mean i have to make sure that the least element of, of the right uh, right elements are is more, more than the current element right so 
uh, and size will be any plus one let's say plus 18 plus 5 I, I don't need to take care of the edge cases and minimum int max and suffix of n minus 1 is uh, a a n minus 1 right and iterate from int i equal to n minus 2 and more than 0 i minus minus and suffix suffix of i now here is the thing suffix of i will not uh, will not show the uh, the minimum elements including itself right because i don't have to i don't want that i want that uh, without including him uh, maximum without including him the maximum el el minimum element on its right side because let's say for 7 the minimum element will be on its side will be 9 not 7 right you understand what i am saying yeah so min of suffix uh, plus 1 and array I plus one. Now, yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. Okay, and yeah, I don't have to look for all these things. Right, here we go. So, there are two conditions if current is more than max and current is less than suffix of i then return 1 as return 0 i don't need this source and this source the code of this will be there in the description you can find the code there there is not not much to look for uh, but yeah yeah, so let's see. There is compilation error, and what is it? Okay, I have to any not define any other. Okay, suffix source not declared. Uh, let's name it suffix. errors oh trivial case is also oh. trivial case failed there is no trivial case it's a strange okay it's right I guess I should be it's, it's fine AI plus one and we are doing it correctly and a int max and min and what is problem there then okay there is no test case how can it be okay there is right so the function return the following should mm, mm, left I should return zero wise okay because I'm not updating it uh, and execute min of okay, max of max comma current and it's stupid okay so it's passing and yeah Yeah, it's correct right so this is it and if you found find any problems or 
any doubts you can comment on in comment box and if if the problem is suitable for the duration i will do it and yeah you can reach out to me okay thank you for watching and please subscribe okay